I thought I'd do um, a video where I sort of do a beginner's guide to gas masks or respirators because there's lots of misinformation about respirators online and um, sadly a lot of people parrot what they hear even though barely any of it's true so I'll start off um, some basic information I've just got a GP5 for demonstration purposes so a respirator or gas mask is basically a mask designed to go over a wearer's face and filter out poisonous gases or harmful gases. Uh, most gas masks give you eye protection as well, so designed to seal off your face from gases and filter oxygen from the harmful gases so you can still breathe. So here's the Russian GP5 civilian gas mask. It's the most commonly produced gas mask in the world. They produced over a hundred million of them in the Soviet Union and there's other versions of it built in countries like China okay so the most important part of a gas mask is this thing here called a filter also sometimes known as a canister all gas masks have some sort of filter but over time the designs have changed but most types all look like this just 40 millimeter or 60 millimeter canisters 40 millimeter referring to the screw size so basically what happens with a filter is oxygen and the gas what you're trying to filter go in through the bottom and inside there's two layers there's a paper type layer which could be made out of asbestos paper fiberglass or some other materials and that's called an aerosol filter and what that does is it actually takes it filters oxygen from certain types of gases it also stops you smelling and things like that and then the second layer is charcoal and it's activated charcoal so that means it has a very dense surface area for its size the idea of the activated charcoal is any gas that gets past the aerosol filter is then essentially absorbed by the charcoal so the oxygen carries on through so filters don't actually remove harmful gases they essentially just store them inside the filter until the filter runs out essentially so on your mask you'll have two primary things on nearly every mask every single mask will have a filter intake somewhere which is where the filtered air goes into the mask and nearly every mask except some very cheaply produced masks have exhale valves and the exhale valve is designed so when um, you breathe out the air you breathe out is put through a specific section of the mask so gas can't get back into the mask essentially so most masks with exhale valves have a two part exhale valve where there's two rubber flaps the idea is that when you breathe in they would pull tight against the mask so oxygen can't get in through an exhale valve but when you breathe out they would flap open like this and the gas would come out and they use two flaps so it's harder for any gas to get in while you're breathing out then you have lenses on the mask eyepieces or whatever you want to call them and they're designed so you can see while wearing the mask and generally military masks have much bigger um, actual lenses normally on a mask you also have some information like the size or when the mask was produced a lot number so where it says T79 on this mask, it means it was produced in 1979. Most militaries give their masks a shelf life of 20 years, meaning that when a mask is produced, it's valid for 20 years for military service. However, that's only a rough estimate. Masks expiry dates are a lot like best before dates on foods. When a mask expires, it doesn't immediately stop working. The most important part of a mask is the filter, not the actual mask itself. So it would be very possible to have a mask that's about 50 years old with a new filter on it and it could still protect you from a lot of gases. And with that same reason, a brand new mask could be defective even with a new filter on it and gas could enter it. So it's only really just a guideline. So um, basically, um, how you can tell if a mask's working or not is um, you place the mask over your face with the filter on, you put your hand over the bottom of the filter and try to inhale. If the mask pulls itself tight over your face, it means that it's pressurised, it's airtight, 
and it's formed an airtight seal so there's no like cracks in the mask or anything and the exhale valve's working properly so air's not leaking in you'd also have to test the filter works and basically if you can't smell anything it means the filter is most likely working however with filters obviously it's best if you open a new filter that's still in date because obviously even if you can't smell anything doesn't necessarily mean the filter's working properly so that's basically it for masks there's lots of sites like approved gas masks and things that's one of the main offenders which tries to sell sort of overpriced brand new masks by claiming old masks you know are completely defective and don't work that's completely not the case the more modern the mask is of course the more chance it has of working fine and it's got more potential to work fine there's less that could go wrong with it but that doesn't mean at all that old masks are completely defective that whole 20 year thing is just a guideline and it in no way affects a mask because as soon as a mask 20 years old it doesn't suddenly let gas in well i hope that's been informative to you for you if you're interested in gas masks there's lots of places you can get them surplus shops normally sell a lot of old military models places like ebay are good because you can find some of the harder to get models and then there's sites that sell masks specifically for collectors where they normally go for a lot more money but you can find very specific masks well i hope that's useful for you and if you like this video you can look up my other videos where um, i show off my other gas masks and things well, thanks for watching and i hope it's been informative